Meredith. What happened? <laughs> Don't fight when you're on crutches. All right, let's do this. Come on. Hey, I'm in a, I'm in a hurry. Snap, snap. Let's go. Come on, come on, come on, come on. We're at Bunker Branding up here. Uh, just brought Mare in because she can't drive for the next eight weeks. No, wait. No, that's you. Just, you had to be on crutches for eight weeks. Yeah. You can drive in like seven days, right? Thankfully. Hopefully. All right. Can you need help? Can you get in here? No, I don't need your help. Okay. Oh, hey. She got it. Meredith, uh, she was getting a little lippy, so I kicked her in the knee and took care of that. She knows not to talk back anymore. Hey. Hey. You're doing great. Sorry I drive a big truck. Some of you may remember back in the fall, Meredith actually had a little minor surgery. They just went and scoped her knee to try to figure out what was wrong. And they basically found a little hole in her cartilage. And it's just probably from running marathons, like, and just running a lot, all the training for marathons. They scoped it and said, yeah, she needs to have real surgery. So they went in a few days ago, cut her knee open, and patched the hole. She's like, you had a pothole, like, on a road. They just had to put some patch in there. So they patched that. <laughs> Put some, put some cartilage stuff that'll grow into, uh, not perfect cartilage, but good enough cartilage. They said she probably shouldn't run any more marathons. How does that make you feel? Um, sad, but yeah. okay. You've accomplished, I mean, you, you ran a under four hour marathon, yeah. which is pretty dang good. So, most people probably don't know, but I had spinal surgery when I was 22, and I was not supposed to have been able to run like I do. After Actually, that surgery, you know, they, so the I doctor can't. said no. You can't, you can't run marathons anymore. Yeah. So I cheated it for about ten more years. Yeah. So now they fine. also they just told you again you can't run marathons. Are you actually done? I yeah. I'm gonna have to be. I think so. You gonna start like swimming or something now? No. I'm still gonna <laughs> run, just not. Just not 26 miles. Yeah. Roman Atwood is actually on his way, and so I've been rushing. I just spent two hours, I didn't even want to film because it would slow me down. I spent two hours making this big mess out here, so this is an update after the last video you guys saw. But we got wires everywhere, but it's done. Check this out. But now, as you can see, hopefully, aha, we got two lights on. So those are just floodlights that will shine this way at night. And everybody's like, night vision video. And I'm like, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. So that's this switch, but this switch does the under lights. So you can see we have three there, three on the back side. So cool. So now it's gonna be all lit up under here as well. I wired everything in parallel because I figured that's probably what I needed to do here because LEDs and such. Bright sun right now, as you can see. So this thing is freaking charging big time. We got boost on, it's charging so much. Next step is to come and tidy up all the wires. I won't bore you with that, but that'll hopefully happen tomorrow or something. We'll see, but man, I'm freaking on cloud nine right now because this is a lot of work and it's all done. Oh, and I got water pump wired up. So we have running water over here, and the system is all plumbed, so it is collecting water every time it rains, which it has not really rained much, but it's been like really foggy in the mornings, and that's enough to make condensation just kind of start forming, dripping down in there and going into our tank. So all systems working great. And one more really important thing I need to update you guys on, I usually don't show this kind of stuff on the channel, but we may or may not have a short-barreled FN PS90 which has been a big problem on the channel for a long time because we had a long barrel. But look at it now! All right, that's it. We're not shooting it today. A demo ranch video coming soon. Look at that beauty. I need to get turbochargers smaller on that thing so that it doesn't smoke so much, but it is really fun when it does smoke. It's just not fun when I don't want it to smoke. Just got up here to Bunker Branding, left her parked outside. If you ever see one of my cars parked out front, I always just park them right here next to the highway so that anybody can stop by, take pictures with them, whatever you want to do. Unless you're that guy, do not take a picture with my car. 
oh, I just talked to Rona and Brittany. They're doing great. Um, but then, stressful thing, I got a text. My Bronco Raptor has arrived at Ford, which I wasn't even sure I wanted one of these. I put an order for an F-150 Raptor R, a really awesome fast truck, like two years ago, and they kept pushing it back, and like a year after I'd had the order in, they were like, hey, you should just go ahead and put an order in for a Bronco Raptor too, because you'll probably get that sooner. And so I did, and I didn't even really want a Bronco Raptor. I wanted a Raptor R because they're gonna be fast and crazy awesome. But now that I'm thinking about it, I'm gonna keep my F-350, but I daily drive an F-350 dually long bed, and it sucks to daily drive. But I need it because we pull my Bobcat around all the time, different properties. We drive to Bristol and Indy pulling a trailer with a car in it and all of our merch stuff. I need a dually that can go on trips like that. But it sure would be nice to have daily. The problem is I'm trying to save all my money right now for the big project that we have coming up this year, which is actually, as you guys saw the countdown, it's getting pretty close. And it's a really bad time for me to buy a new vehicle, like a like pretty much the worst time. But fortunately slash unfortunately, Meredith's car is in the shop right now. She has a, an Escalade, which is getting up there in miles. It was making a weird noise in one of the shocks up front. I took it into the Cadillac dealership and they were like, yeah, you need to replace both shocks up front and it's $2,300. And I was like, swell. I call Mayor and I'm like, hey, I didn't tell you, but I ordered a Bronco Raptor a while back and it's ready. And Mayor's like, too bad, bro. Like, no, with what you got planned, you cannot, you cannot buy a new car. And I was like, what about if you drive it and it's your daily for a little while until we get you a car with a third row. Because Bear carries kids around everywhere. And she said, huh. And she said, maybe. I might be the most persuasive dude ever. I just talked my wife into daily driving a Bronco Raptor. They have 37 inch tires. My little wife driving a freaking off-road beast. I don't know, We're, we haven't like paid anything for it. We're going to look at it, I think today. And we're gonna see if we're really doing this or not. Like, are we really buying a Bronco Raptor and trading in Mayor's mom car and she's gonna daily drive a Bronco Raptor for a while and then eventually it'll be my daily. Cool, cool, cool. Okay, anyway, let's go talk to Ron and Brittany. Uh, I'm freaking stressed out, man. How would you, sir, like to go and pick up my wife's new Bronco Raptor? Your wife's. I mean, she can't drive, so it's for yes. it's for her. <laughs> I would love to. I didn't even know they made a Raptor. Yeah, they just came out recently. Do I get to drive this there? Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if you can I handle this. I thought this was the wife's. Oh yeah, this is Mare's. You felt this for this her. is Mare's daily. Well, it needs a little. Didn't she hurt her knee and have to get surgery trying to climb into this thing? <laughs> She'd get tetanus if she tried to get in this thing. It needs some work oh, still. Sharp. Yeah, there's a lot of sharp things. Look at this. I mean, you could like slice your femoral artery just this right open. Terminator, bro. It's great. It's great if you don't like luxury. <laughs> like, it's rough around the edges, just like me, but with a heart of gold. You're really like stepping up the game for all the guys driving Teslas. You're like <laughs> really making up for. Um, oh, I just took the boot off the road <sighs> because it was runaway dieseling on me. Uh, luckily, I have a manual cutoff though, and I just shut it down. But dude, this thing was about to freaking go crazy. It just revved up super high. I'm like shaking right now. And I, we have a freaking valve over here to shut it down. But yeah, it was, runaway diesel is scary. I've never actually seen one in real life. Check this out. You can see where I had my brakes locked up. That was also where my car was full throttling. My brakes are locked up all the way to here. That is front tires plowing right there. I am on the brakes, brakes locked up, and all back tires, my four back tires are still going full tilt, floored. Like, probably actually burning out while these things are dead stopped. Oh, scary. Oh, it just went Wah! And I slammed on the brakes, but the engine is still revving up all the way, and I was still in drive and I cranked on the thing to shut this thing down. And I tried to start it up again and it went up to runaway diesel again. So we're gonna tow it back to the house. Whew, heart's beating. Luckily I have Roman here. Roman's going up to my house to grab the dually, the F-350, and we will tow this the rest of the way home. 
Oh, my heart rate is like a million miles a minute still. That was really scary. Engine smoking. All right, we got an F-350 here to hopefully pull me out. Oh, 40 inch tires with no power steering, not fun. All right, easy as that. Jeez, that was, that was freaky. All right, Bronco Raptor, right? <laughs> Let's forget about this Cuda for a little bit. All right, this is actually a really good reason to make me send it back to the shop anyway, because I need to get some other stuff done to it. We'll go ahead and figure out why it run away diesel on us. I don't like that one bit. Uh, what if it would have happened right there? I actually, I don't think I steered off the road now that I'm thinking about it. I think I had the front brakes locked up because I was trying to reach down here and grab that so that I could shut the engine down because I knew what was happening. I knew the engine was running away. And so I think I just had my foot on the brakes to try to slow me down because it was gaining speed quick. And I was trying to reach for that. I think front tires were just locked up and it just plowed off the side of the road. Like another 10 feet and I would have been up on the embankment, could have rolled this thing. What just happened? Nothing's going well. Roman was actually filming out his mirror. I got a worse he, shot. He wanted to see me come over the hill. Yeah, yeah. That black stuff is my smoke. And I mean, you can't see what happens. But you can see the smoke move over the side though. Yeah, you can it's see right the smoke there. go off the road, but it was the smoke was above me and it was pluming smoke out because that thing was at full tilt in third gear, just like My turbos were screaming. And I was screaming. That could have gone bad. Uh, here's to it not. Cheers. Mm. Gives you one problem and you just yeah. trade her in. Could have gone. Right. What you got here, man? Well, was, dude, we're in a brand new Bronco Raptor, and it's for Mare. What you think, Mare? Not for me. Mare's like my kids can't fit here. What we are gotta, we about? gotta trade in the Escalade. <laughs> How are the back seats? Y'all okay back there? They're nice. It's Plenty of space. Lots of room. Yeah, feel good. We did buy it, yes. I, could, I don't know what this is going on here. Could put my documents here. All right. Just a 50 cal over here. Give her the beans. It's a turbo, twin turbocharged V6. Rip it, dude. Whoa! I mean, it sounds good. It does sound good. This is also not in sport mode. It's in normal mode. Slow mode. It said slow mode. I don't know how to actually do anything, so I don't know how to turn it to sport mode. Just talk to it. Bronco. Bronco, go to sport mode. Oh man, it does look good. Oh. Oh my god. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm alive. Can you please stop? This car is not ours yet. <laughs> <laughs> the test drive's going well. We have the Bronco Raptor home. I'm gonna do, hey Link, what do you think, dude? Hi. Hi. We are gonna do a more in-depth video on this. I wanna like actually drive it around a little bit and then show you guys uh, what I like about it, what I don't, why I think it's cool. What do you think, dude? You like it? Lincoln really wanted the Raptor R. He wanted me to get that. I've been talking about that for two years. But I think I'm not gonna get one now. I think I'm just gonna, this will be the daily. Well, it's gonna be Mare's daily for a while because we sold her car. I didn't even realize I had Mare's purse on my shoulder here. Roman just told me I look good. All right, Roman and I are doing something really cool on Demo Ranch tomorrow. So that video will probably go live in, I don't know, maybe a week. Mare and I are gonna be driving this thing around and Figure out everything, we'll let you know. Thanks for watching this episode of Off the Ranch. I love you. I'll see you next time. Whoa. Oh. Whoa. Oh. Hey, what camera is that? Number. Shut up! <laughs> Don't tell Mare. Oh, yeah.